of uh, the recent days of uh, coordination and, uh, and planning, uh, particularly uh, between uh, all uh, key stakeholders uh, in Fiji. Uh, as from day one, after the eruption, uh, we were inundated with calls as to how will uh, Fiji respond. And uh, we are thankful that uh, the acting Prime Minister did uh, uh, speak to uh, his uh, tongue and uh, counterpart, but uh, although that was uh, that did not last long because of communication issues, but then through, diplomatically uh, we uh, asked the Kingdom of Tonga uh, if uh, Fiji can uh, assist uh, in um, in whatever way uh, we 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 can. Uh, that has seen the deployment of uh, the troops uh, that left on uh, uh, on the 22nd. Uh, they are currently in Australia. And of course, uh, the rest of the communities uh, is what we see here today. Uh, we have the Api Tonga uh, community, uh, the Tongans uh, here in Suba. And we have uh, business um, uh, organizations, we have uh, non-government and civil society organizations, uh, philanthropists um, uh, and uh, donor partners. Uh, so we, we had a, a lot of, um, of assistance uh, that were offered and uh, a committee was set up. Again, we are thankful to government for allowing uh, NDMO and uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, and a few uh, key agencies to coordinate uh, all this. So, uh, in the last few days, uh, we have been collecting donations and, of course, uh, started with the packaging as well. And uh, today we see 11 40 food containers uh, on its way to Tonga. And we have uh, 12 uh, Fijians, uh, uh, apart from the 32 or 31 uh, crew members, we have about 12 officials uh, that are also uh, accompanying the, the consignment, uh, made up of, uh, of uh, personnel from the RFMF, from NDMO, uh, from uh, information and the media, and of course uh, we have uh, foreign affairs uh, uh, as well, uh, as part of the, the deployment. It will be a contactless deployment because of uh, COVID protocols uh, in Tonga, and uh, we will abide by that. Uh, they have all been tested, and none of them is uh, positive, but um, despite that, we will ensure that all COVID uh, protocols are observed. We are thankful to, again, all the, the organizations that are, are helping us, and of course the New Zealand government uh, and uh, the Chinese government. We have the European Union, uh, Malaysia, uh, that have uh, donated uh, a lot, including uh, costs uh, for this deployment for which we are thankful for. So, we hope that uh, uh, this, uh, uh, whatever little that uh, we are providing will be uh, of great assistance to our brothers uh, and sisters in Tonga and it comes with our love and prayers and we wish them a quick recovery and a quick return to normalcy as well. Um, just on behalf of the Tongan community here, I'll check question uh, final and uh, many of the members that you see here. I'd like to sort of give our, uh, first of all, our gratitude for giving us an opportunity, the gift, to be able to help our people back home. Um, 
I want to give a start with the thank yous here, especially uh, minister to your team, um, the director of NDMO, the permanent secretary, the government ministries that have all stepped in to make it possible for a very, um, a very emotional uh, Tongan community that has felt a real sense of loss, then a sense of victory, and a sense of celebration. Um, as we went through this whole, um, one of the most significant eruptions in the world within our own country. And at this time, just our gratitude from our community. The second thing I want to raise here is, while we may have, um, we might have um, containers here from many of our partners around the room, the three or four containers that are with the Tongan community also carry these gifts and these wishes of the Fijian community as well. And we've seen Fijians step up in the thousands, uh, coming in representatives of groups, business people from all ethnicities, just coming forward to say they want to support, they want to do something for the people of Tonga at this time. And I want to just say thank you again, because those containers carry a lot of love. It also carries a lot of love from our students and our community of being here. For many of us, we haven't seen our family in two years. And um, when the eruption happened, it's very personal because no one has, has seen face to face because of COVID. And the opportunity to be able to put personal boxes on that container to send home as gifts of love from our community, malo pito and much appreciated. Finally, to those who are going to Tonga, you're the lucky ones. Half of our guys standing here have been waiting to go home for nine months to two years. And we've been standing here and wishing that they could hide under a truck here. I think they're sitting here planning how they could run onto the boat. But you, uh, they've, lost, they've left their families. Some have got their children, their wives. Others have been stuck here on American flights since April. And everybody wishes they could be on this boat with your team. But please take our love to Tonga. And thank you for the opportunity to be able to join hands across Fiji to make this happen. I also acknowledge the other partners, World Central Kitchen and others who've stepped up to make your gifts available and to help our people back home in Tonga. And as you said, Minister, we stand together and we've always stood together for centuries and with this special relationship between Fiji and Tonga is something that we all know at times like this is a reality. We're thankful to God for the love, the concern and everything that has been shown. We saw a miracle with the, with the impact of the hurricane, oh, sorry, of, this, of the eruption. And we've seen a miracle in the last week in terms of the love and the hope that you've all given us. Malo Abito Othalahayatu.